Hi. It's the last day of our Africa adventure. I thought about doing a more polished video, but the feedback from the last vlog was that you guys liked the vlog, so I wouldn't have expected that, but here we are. So, the African trip. <clears throat> Let me just say we started off. Here's what we did. We did a customer experience event. We then filmed with the city of the Western Cape. Then we did some interviews at different call centers and we talked to some private and public sector organizations that facilitate BPO expansion into Africa. Then we went into some call centers and the overall experience was pretty fantastic but grueling. 15 hour days of shooting and the equivalent of like shooting in one city for 15 hours, did I say 15 days, 15 hours. The equivalent of shooting 15 hours in one day, jumping on a plane, like going from Texas to New York, shooting for 15 hours there and then coming back, things like that, it was, it was a lot, but worth every minute. Here were the key takeaways for you CXers. In the event, the CEM event, first of all, shouts out to the team, an amazing event, the production values so high, even though I'm the chairman and uh, biased, obviously, the event is so well produced compared to any other show in the world. I, seriously, if I was in the US, I'd be trying to figure out how to get a ticket and come see this thing. First of all, if you're a CXer and you can come to this show, you will see customer experience being done by people who have to address customers who live on like 500 dollars us dollars a month those are some very savvy and thrifty customers the amount of innovation it takes to deliver the customer experiences that matter in that environment is interesting however the budgets you get to work with are also equally as small so just hearing the people talk about how they solve problems in a market that is fully mobile really interesting so if you can get down here and see it but the point of my statement is thanks team the team did a great job the VUCA group produced an amazing event it best one yet I think anyway I hope I'm back next year but if not I understand if you want to have a different chairman I mean let's spread the love but I would love to be back I'd be honored after that oh key takeaways sorry vlog the conversation of quantitative and qualitative data for customer insights is still very prevalent, but there's a new emerging discussion around values and emotions, things that drive customer behavior even more so. So there was a lot of that at the show. We had all your usual discussions about AI, AI transformation, AI implementation, AI fear of the future or uncertainty. One of the things that I try to share with people is if you've ever studied the lump of labor fallacy, there's always this concern when immigrants come into a market or a technological change comes into the market and there'll be a loss of jobs. But if you look at the data, the data proves out very clearly that that never happens. I think the heightened concern is that AI is sort of viewed as a technological change and an immigrant into society. So there's a little drama there, but not to worry, no one's losing their jobs. Or at least the markets aren't losing their jobs. People will definitely have to change jobs. The other insights I would say is that you know, the, at events, there are so many vendors and I've been to a lot of events where <clears throat> it's mostly vendors talking to other vendors and there was a lot of discussion at this event about how to keep this event so well organized in terms of having people who are very interested in CX be able to go to a day of like 30 workshops that 
were predominantly, I would say over 90% of them were not sales pitches. They were like people talking to people about what are we doing in this industry. And you have to think about that as an event, as these places that the industry gets its innovation, its sparks for what we do. The, the trend to have events be more centered around users and creators, practitioners of CX, I think is something that's starting to build. So just something to keep an eye out there. Uh, so those are the insights from the event. The rest of our adventure, we went to call centers, we talked to agents, we talked to the government, we talked to the public and private sector organizations that provide the facilitation of BPO expansion into Africa. So there's some interesting discussions. You'll see all that in the film series when it's released in October. What I can say in terms of takeaway of the people that I met here, I was concerned that there might be some exploitation of people going on in these call center jobs. And I was hopeful. I was open-minded to what I would find. But what I found is the agents love working in customer care and getting these jobs. And having someone who wants to work, do the work, makes a big difference. Some of the people we interviewed just were working out of like she sheds. It was sort of um, inspiring to see. And I, mean, I was a little jelly. I mean, I would work out of one of these she sheds in a heartbeat. The, uh, the interesting development in the BPO sector in Africa, I found at Callzilla, they've deployed a virtual or uh, I, I like to think of it more as like an emancipated version of BPO business where they go into a market, East London, spun up zero to almost a hundred agents in almost no time by having a team on the ground that takes care of technical support, upskilling, training, culture, ops, if you will, and then having a halo of international monitoring from supervisors from around the world. So you really have this redundancy in customer care as well as rapid deployment into economies where the environment for doing BPO business is most favorable. So that's really something to watch. Uh, I also got a chance to, to speak to and go inside an amazing call center here, Call Lab. Their, their facility was like Silicon Valley good. The, you'll see it in the films. Just oh, an amazing facility. Felt like I was in San Francisco, but the vibe was much more family and friendly and less narcissistic as compared to Silicon Valley. So that was just refreshing to see the energy of Silicon Valley being re-portrayed as a culturally aware, friendly, inspired group of startup people trying to make it with each other. One of the guys there I really related to because he comes from a little bit of a rough neighborhood and he stays there and works like double shifts to enjoy that environment more than his home and that was something I could relate to because I did the same thing growing up. Then after that I got a chance to to spend time with the Singer group. Leanne Singer and her team sponsored me this entire visit. All the, all the hotels and um, accommodations outside of the convention were sponsored by the Singer group. I did a workshop with them about AI, hands-on training, met the team there, and really started to lay the seeds of a film series next year about person-to-person -person customer experiences. So right now we're gonna finish up the, the call center, let's call it um, virtual customer care chat phone customer experiences and then roll into the person to person experiences next year. Thank you all for being on this journey. I know I've been rambling. It's the morning. I'm just now 
getting my wits about me before jumping on a plane. Before I go, can I just say thank you to my team and to my family? It's, it's challenging the logistics and the hours and the technical support required to, to do an adventure like this. The team has been amazing. You know, I'll just say this. What a lot of people don't know is while we're doing these film projects, we have large global brand customer experience consulting projects going on. And so the team handles the, the strategic work and the, the heavy lifting of those consulting projects while I'm on the road so that I can just meet with clients and have uh, intermittent touch bases every week that's hugely important so shouts out to Carla on that you know in many ways I try to tell Carla this but I think she's a better CXer than I am at this point and the logistics team thank you so much oh my god scheduling 15 hour days of shoots breakdowns setups backup of files transport to airports and hotels and offices oh my god Anna, Joan, thank you so much. It was just amazing. Camille, thank you to you for keeping all of the communications going on all of our channels. I'm, well, I'm out here with Kelly. Thank you for keeping the social media rolling to everyone in the background. Just the team, please, if you're watching this video, thank you team, but whoever's watching this know that this is, I'm just the guy on the camera drinking tea. And finally, my family, my kids, my wife, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't have any of this life or do any of this without you.